Hey y'all, it's Alicia and I'm laughing because uh, this is take two because I move my hands too much and I know that I have to keep my hands on my lap when I'm not showing you things. All right y'all, so I wanted, in the first round of this video, I was so organized and I started off by saying thank you to Pat and to the ladies in Pat's crew who sent me the extended platforms for my big shot and my sidekick. Thank you. Um, the ladies got together and they sent me this amazing gift. I'm not really sure I can guess who is part of this crew. I'm assuming it's Miss Carrie. I'm assuming it's Kayla. Maybe Susan Tootsie Tucker. I don't know. But a group of you got together and got these for me. And I really appreciate it. And you all know I just got that um, rosette dye that unfortunately did not come in Cruz's box. But I did reorder. And it's a, a very long dye. And I wouldn't have been able to cut it without these. And I was just going to get them at the end of the month when I got paid, but instead y'all sent them. So thank you very, very much for this. That was super thoughtful of you and I appreciate it a lot. So Pat, they arrived. You don't have to worry anymore. They're here safe and sound. Um, thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. I wanted to share with you all what I've been working on. I laughed this morning because I was about 15 into these when I saw Septeria 18's video and I thought great minds think alike. So I've been receiving really beautiful handmade things from people in the last three, four months that really make my making so much more diversified and better. So uh, Anna, Heart to Hand Creations, made me that amazing ruffle crepe trim, and I love it. Then absolutely Alice made me the shaker circles, the Maggie Home shaker circles, and sewed them for me. And then Soleil, she made me the miniature book signatures and miniature books, and she sewed them for me. And I want to be able to do that for people. So I need to get over this I don't sew business. But before I can do that, I thought, what can I do that's going to be useful? And, you know, I know loads of us like these Adriana Alvarez rouged pieces that we stick underneath embellishments. We stick them underneath bag toppers. We use them in all sorts of ways to give our projects dimension. So I thought, well, surely I can make these without sewing. And I had not seen Septeria 18's video, her project share, or her tutorial. And I just started making them. I did it exactly the same way as Septeria. I accordion folded, glued both sides of the accordion fold. And then the only difference is I used one of these magnetic chip clips to hold everything together while they dried. And that's it. So I'm going to put Septeria 18's tutorial down below. I'm laughing that it came out today. And I, like, I was already in the midst of making these. So great minds think alike. So I made a bunch in these, um, this is one that's layered up with, uh, mine are a little different than some Terry's in the sense that I like mine doubled up. So I did this one in vintage paper with Prima on top. Then I made some that are just the vintage paper. This is another one with vintage paper and Prima. Then I did some in pink. Um, and then I made a bunch for Easter. So there's some using Easter paper, in, right? Um, I made some miniatures for people that make miniatures. Uh, let me see. I made really chunky ones for my own bag toppers because I like them super chunky. So for me, I went super chunky. This has four layers of them. Um, I made Basically, I made all different ones. So some to gift to people, some to use on bag toppers, uh, mostly for packaging. This is the kind of thing that takes me hours to do. So like, see, like these are really handy for people's projects. So I made a bunch. Um, to send to people in their happy mail packages that I'm sending out at the end of the month. Because I couldn't sew them, didn't mean I, I couldn't figure out how to make them. And I wanted to give people the same sorts of things that Soleil and Anna and Alice have helped give to me and that have made my making so much better. So this was my way of doing it. And you know I've been working on some surprise mail. So these are what I, will, I was creating these for some surprise mail. Um, and yeah, I completed about over 35 so um i'm pretty excited about that but i will put septeria 18 tutorial down below she shows you how you do it but folks it's really simple you just accordion it fishtail the end if you want a fishtail and glue in each crevice flip it over glue in each crevice and then she just lets hers dry but i clipped mine to make sure that it stayed nice and, and firm while it was drying and that's it so i made a bunch of those but that took me hours it's hours of cutting, hours of folding, and then hours of gluing. I'm slow. And I don't want the glue to be messy on the back, so I was slow. 
um, but I got them done and they're all there. Now this is the sort of thing I can see pre-making and keeping in your stash. I never seem to have time. I was thinking about it. Like I, I told you all, I was watching Ebony this week going, how do you have so many stand images done? I was like, wow. And then I was thinking, you know, this is the sort of thing that I would love to have on my stash because when I'm doing bag toppers, I know a lot of people use these for embellishments too, but I tend to use them for bag toppers and I would love to have them ready. And these you don't need to personalize. You could just take all your scraps and these ones I cut specifically, but you could use scraps for these and it would be a great use of your scraps. I just never seem to have the time to make this sort of thing. I'm always working on a project or something I'm behind on or a swap or something. Um, and I don't even feel like I do enough challenges. So I don't know that I'm ever going to have the time to make a bunch of these for my stash. But if I were, if I had the extra time, this is probably what I would be making for my stash. It's the same way like at night when I'm tired and I've put everything away, but I'm not so tired that I can't do something small. That's when I make my rosettes because I can make those while watching TV for an hour and I don't even have to think about it. And then in the morning I just glitter them up and they're done. I think with more practice, these are sort of like that. I could get these done at night maybe and start building them up in my stash, but they're a wonderful thing to give folks. If you can sew, it's going to be so much faster because you just cut accordion and then put a line of stitching, maybe two, and that's it. And they're terrific. And even some of the people I'm sending these to, even if they sew, they would like to get these glued because then they just put a row of stitching and they're finished and it looks super cute. So yeah, I made a bunch of those for my secret projects. And then y'all, I got in the rest uh, of my, well, the rest, my next haul. So I'm calling this a holiday because it's both my day to craft and make and stay away from the world and just live in my happy art land. But also I got in my second haul and I'm pretty excited to share it with you. The first piece is for Miss Soleil, Enchanted by Craft. So a long time ago, I ordered this exact package for her. It is the Graphic 45 Dreamland kit with the chipboard stickers and everything. And I ordered it from Amazon Australia. And then if you all remember, I sent her a scrapbook box kit and it had extra cut aparts from this collection um, as well in it. Well, folks, it never arrived. And I was so glad Soleil let me know. So I got on with them. You know what's funny? They charge so much for shipping and they didn't even bother to notify me. So I clearly canceled my order and I reordered it and I got it because I realized I'm about to send Soleil something at the end of the month and it's not going to cost me that much more to put this in. So at least I know she's going to get it. So Soleil, I've got it. And at the end of the month, when I have my next pay period and my next postal budget, I will put this in your other box of goodies and off it will go to you. So this is Dreamland. I don't know that this is the one that Soleil really wanted. It's, you know, Soleil likes Graphic 45. There were so many collections and I just didn't know which one she loved. But I just thought this one was so cool. It has people as fairies and as butterflies and it's dreamy and I don't know. It was just really beautiful. And it had a lot of the same colors that Soleil used in the Graphic 45 book she made. So I'm hoping that you like it. I think it's very... Um, it's very magical. So that came. So that was exciting. I also got a stamp to go into Alice's birthday box. Absolutely Alice. And these are these pre Prima princess stamps. But this is very much an Alice looking stamp. Look at it, y'all. Does that not look like Alice? Except usually hers are small. Alice, this one is the size of my hand. So it's like what you do, but huge. So I'm excited for you to get this. I'm really excited for you to get this. So that I, I got that and I did get myself one, but it looks very different. That's the one I got for myself. Folks, these are normally really expensive. These are normally like $9 stamps, but they were on sale. They're made by Prima. They're called Prima Princess and they were on sale for like half price. So they were a really, great, oops, a really great deal. Um, so I was excited. I really love this one. Um, Alice's is called Sydney. And I got Aubrey. So yeah, very cool. All right, so I got that. Now you all saw Alicia Love Letter Generation. She hauled these really cute pink paisley smaller stickers. They're not big like thickers, I'll show you, because my thickers are here. 
I do like these stickers I got. They're very much like spring and Easter color, and I love all the little details on them. They could even be vintagey, but see the difference in size? So I find I don't use a lot of these, and that's just because um, my projects are smaller usually, unless I'm doing a book. So they're great for when I do books, but I don't need them a lot for other projects because my projects are smaller. So I was very excited to see these because these are much smaller and I think I'll be able to use them more on my projects. So I ordered one pack after seeing Alicia's haul and thought I would try them out. I'm a little nervous that you don't pull them off in one strip. You pull the, each letter off individually because I'm afraid I'll, I'll be crooked or something like that. But I'll just do my best, y'all. Um, and I hauled these because I think these were 99 cents. And I thought that was like a great price to try these out. Look how much smaller they are even than these. So this is about the right size I need for my miniature projects. These are from Pink Fresh Studio. I've never seen them before. But again, at 99 cents, I was willing to give them a shot and see. And I'm hoping they work out because they're about the perfect size. Um, I got them in soft pink. I got one pack of the Dreamer All Heart stickers that now y'all know I don't usually craft with All Heart. But you know I'm sending off special packages to the the Aussie crew. So I did haul one pack of these because I need them for the, for something I'm working on for them. I got some Dilutions ink spray. And I got it in a citron green, a sunflower yellow, and a blue denim. So I got that. And I got these. These are not um, Sparkle City. They are holographic, but they're holographic script. And they're from American Crafts. They're thickers and they're called Harmony. And they, they come with letters and numbers and I really like them. So I got one pack of those um, for the holographic kits. Again, normally I wouldn't use stickers this size, but because of the certain projects, I got those. And your girl finally got a, a floral die that it, you know, and I got a large one. And I was torn between this one and Heartfelt Creations, but this was on sale and it had very good reviews. And I loved the size of these dies. And these ones say that they can cut felt, cork sheets, foam, and shrink plastic. Like shrinky dink. So now that changed everything. I was like, wait. Can you imagine making shrinky dink flowers? Susan Tussie Tucker. Oh yeah, no. So um, next budget period, I'm hauling some shrinky dink and we're gonna try shrink your dink flowers using this die. So I'm pretty excited. And notice it doesn't have the hole in the center so you can use the balling tool that Hope sent me. I'm very excited about these. And I have that heartfelt creation mold thanks to Misty. So um, thanks to Misty C telling us about it. We're really lucky that she knew about that. And so I can make these look more distressed and interesting. So I'm excited about that. Um, your girl finally grew up and got her own sprig dies. Normally Carmen die cuts these for me because I break them when they come out of the die cutter because I'm not delicate enough. Well, I've been practicing and I can do it now. So it was time I owned my own. So I've never used this brand before. Um, it's called Studio Light. And it's just, I just like the shapes of these. I really like the shapes of them. Like there's a hollow one, a solid one, and then a half and half. So I got some sprig dies. And why they call these Bollywood, I don't know, but they're Kaiser Craft wooden pieces. And I got the doily set. I call it the doily set. They call it Bollywood. It's the big, um, the big wooden doily, the small doily, and then some flourishes. And so that was awesome. And I finally got myself this. I've gifted it before. Carmen knows that I love this Stampin' Die set from Sussex. And it says, Amigas por Vida, which means uh, friends for life in Spanish. And so I have been, you know, I've gifted it, but I haven't bought it for myself. So when it went on sale this time, I'm like, okay, girly, get it for yourself. It's very Frida Kahlo. There's a whole series of these, actually, and I think they're all magical. But my favorite is the Amigas Amigas por Vida. So I, this is the one I chose. Um, the designer of these is Crafty Chica. So I think the Crafty Chica line is really cool. For those of you who don't know it, check it out. It's really cool. Uh, let's see. I got one extra pack of those Sunny Days flowers we're using for Take One, Make One. 
and that's because somebody else wants to work well we've had a few people ask to participate so I didn't have enough because I had sent everything out um, and so I needed to get uh, actually I need to get two more of these so I did so don't you think we can make these better when I saw them in person they look way better online I have to tell you almost everyone I know makes a better crepe rosette than that so I was like oh we are so gonna make these better than crepe paper so I'm excited to see what people do with these and second last but not least I got a chit chat by doodlebug but their summer collection and the reason I got these is not so much the large sentiments but because they have so many um, speech bubbles and I'm not going to tell you what I need those for but you'll very soon see likely either uh, tomorrow or this week I need them for a specific project and I think that's oh no that is not everything all right calling calling all my fun quirky makers especially those who love Maggie Holmes do you see what these are it's gonna be hard on my camera um, but the Tennille's of the world the Alicia love letter generations the crews you're gonna love these these are brats and they are tickets oh Lauren Cunningham you're gonna love these too they're tickets and pop little popcorns let me show you look it's like a popcorn box with popcorn I wish they had french fries too but they didn't so I got these brats also and I got a pack for um for Lily because they're going in her her special package this month and that folks is it that's my haul my holiday so I'm going back to making first I'm going to have a little lunch because I haven't had lunch yet and then I'm going to get back to making funny after about an hour didn't even the mess didn't even bother me the bestie was right as soon as I got in my making groove that's all that mattered so I am going to go back to making um you know again I have a lot to do today uh and I will be back on later today to share some happy meal with you to the ladies who got together and did this for me thank you so very much you know I always say it's unnecessary but I also want to say how much it's appreciated um this actually is going to make a big difference it means I can cut more dies at once um it means I can buy bigger dies it, it means a lot that's what I'm trying to say thank you for expanding my making and being so thoughtful and getting together to do this this was a really nice gift and I love it so thank you all right y'all that is it for your girl time to go eat some lunch and I will be back on later with some happy meal I hope whatever you're doing it's gifting you joy I really do I have been watching this woman Nina Rabina how do I not know who this woman is I have watched her obsessively for the last three hours I'm not kidding for three hours I've been watching her videos if you have any interest in mixed media oh you need to check this lady out you just do I don't even know which project to recommend to you first she makes so many beautiful projects and her tutorials and project explanations are fantastic she's a natural born teacher so I'm going to put her channel information down below and I will try to link one video out of the many fantastic videos I've watched today but if you are interested at all in mixed media of any kind oh this lady is something else she teaches you how to take your own designs collages drawings and put them on rice paper using a photocopier mm -hmm. oh I, I'm like in love I do not know how I had not found this woman before I found her through a recommended channel that came up and I was like okay and I I've been watching her ever since hours and I have learned so much from this lady so again if you are at all interested in mixed media you've got to check her out I'll put her channel down below folks her name is Nina Rabina and she is something else something else one heck of a great mixed media artist but also a really fine teacher all right off for me to eat my lunch and get back to crafting and I will see you later tonight I hope you're having an amazing day y'all I really hope so bye for now